วัสดีเจ้า This is a Chiang Mai Northern language. So I just want to talk about Chiang Mai Pride. In 2009, there was the first ever Chiang Mai Pride, and there were a lot of LGBT non-profit organization coming together and create, you know, a parade and everything. Everything just very good, and oh my God, everyone like it. And then the year after that, 2009, right? Did I say 2008? Yeah, that one was 2008, and then 2009. They want to do it again because they just love the feeling. They just want to have a parade. We just want to party on the street. But the thing is, at that time, there were a political climate that there were two groups of a political group from like red shirt and yellow shirt, and one of the shirt just thinking that this parade, this mobilizing people is political mopping so they're trying to collab with the conservative group in Chiang Mai trying to tear or stop the pride by stating that we don't like gay, we don't need gay because gay is gonna make our ritual of the city bad so they're coming to the parade and circle the parade and um, makes the people who not continue the marching so they have to escape some of them was thrown by like a, a bad thing like a, a blood of the pig because they think that we are sin we are bad things so they have to throw this to clean the city or something so that was a very bad historical moment so after that um, LGBT nonprofit appoint the day um, February 21st to be the day against violent towards LGBT people in Thailand and then they start into aware that we not only supporting the HIV aid right we have to do more advocate the people not just the community and after that 10 years there were a group called Young Pride Club which is the group that have no idea about the historical moment but we have heard about the pride a little bit but why there's no one come out to do a Chiang Mai pride so we asked the you know we asked some of the LGBT organization that should we do this again and they think that this is enough time for them to do it because they've done enough on advocating and educate people about the LGBT community so we got a lot of funding to do the parade, the stage and everything. And at the venue, there's, we expect people to come like 50 to 100 people because we've seen a lot of marching in Chiang Mai, like women march or um, ethnicity march, something like that, or labor march, like around 100 people. But the thing that we've seen is not only LGBT people coming to the parade, there is like a uh, non-Thai people, there are some like Thai university students, there are Chinese tourists joining the parade. So there were like almost thousand people joining the parade at Tha Pae Gate. So there was a very huge success that I never expected before in my life or even those people who have experienced in that 10 years ago. And it's not gonna stop there because we're gonna have it again in Chiang Mai Pride 2020. It's gonna happen on February 22nd from morning to night. So we are doing a fundraising. If you wanna support us for in terms of like um, financial and also you can support us joining the parade. You can register as a an organization you can have your own group supporting and also lastly you can join the Chiang Mai Pride ambassador so you can be on the stage doing a contest and yeah just want everyone to join the Pride and happy Pride soon so ขอบคุณค่ะ